Oh gosh, well my entire life has been spent in the art world. Uh, I went to a special music and arts theater high school up on, on Long Island, it's called Pocosi's Cultural Arts Center. Then I went to art school down here. I went to University of Miami, the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale, became a graphic designer, and I went back to New York and became, um, I did magazine ads and billboards that were in Times Square and packaging design for cosmetics. Then I had kids. I tried to still work that way, but I really wanted to be on their schedule. So I became an art teacher. And I've been doing that for the past uh, 12 years, minus all the extra schooling. Uh, so it's 15 years. And um, during COVID, I started painting. I was home a lot and I said, what am I going to do? I don't want to binge and watch Netflix. I need to do more than that in my life. And I started painting in my backyard, um, things I saw, and I just started getting more and more creative. It started getting attention. And then the music teacher at my school asked me to make a painting for an independent film that uh, he and his wife were producing. And it was of Vi Red, um, who is the person that sang Summertime and The Living is Easy. But she never got the publicity, and I think that was part of what the movie was about. She never got the recognition. And that one painting got more attention than anything else I'd ever done. So I said, okay, well, maybe I should just do uh, celebrities, pop icons. And I created this style. I took the, that original Vi Red painting idea and then started adding drawings behind them that reflect uh, sometimes song lyrics or their tattoos or their personal philosophies or symbols that meant something. Or the doodles are just like the energy of the action when they're singing, you know, things like that. And I still to this day thank that music teacher for changing the trajectory of um, my career. And having the variety, you touch on everybody by being so diverse. You Everybody sees somebody they know. They might not know everybody. But you can pick up on the feelings. Yes, but you could pick one and say, I like that one.